Jonathan Horowitz, here to do the psychic connection with us. Kiki Barber, remember Kiki Barber? Yes. I called him the Magley. <laughs> Kiki the Magley Barber. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's an old world reference. So yeah. we're gonna do psychic connection. Tiki. Where you get to channel your inner Nostradamus, your inner Madame Cleo, and you're going to have 30 seconds each to predict the future okay. on four topics that the fans of the sports show have given you. So the- Can I have one for you first? Sure. With all this stuff going on downtown, you were, all, you were able to get here okay? Didn't you think about, this is a day I'd not come Did up. Did you walk or drive? You know, I had some divine intervention because as I was realizing that I couldn't pull in to the front of the Denver Post studios, a parking spot opened up on the street, someone pulled out, I pulled in, so I've used up all You're my good luck for the day. Parking karma. He's yeah. psychic. <laughs> he went to the right place. Okay. okay, he's psychotic. What's the first question? <laughs> so the first question for psychic connection is, what is going to last longer? The tenure of RG3 or the tenure of Roger Goodell in the NFL? Oh. So we're talking about RG3 as a player in the NFL? Not with the Washington Redskins, but a whole career. This is no, from a whole career. This part is, of the NFL. Yeah, okay. Here this is, is the from tweet, and Ricky, it's from Ricky Behu73. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. RG okay. is going to last longer. Can I go first here? Sure. It's Just Roger go. Goodell. Yeah. Roger Goodell continues to make the owners a lot of money despite all the mistakes, despite all the senseless um, maneuvering that, that he's done over the last few years. Roger Goodell. RG3 is going to get another chance in this league. But Goodell's going to be around a long, long time. It's an interesting question because of this. Roger Goodell's in his 50s. He's not going to go away for this because, see, they make some money. But RG3 is still young enough. He came out after his junior year. He's still young enough that if he went somewhere, he could have a 10- or 12-year career. Is Roger Goodell going to last a dozen more years? It's He'll be point. in his mid-60s. Yeah, but I think RG3's made a shambles of his career. There might not be a whole lot left. I, I, but I agree with you. But I, I don't think it's such a weird question. No, that no, RG3 no. could, could reemerge. Tim Tebow may last another 12 years in the league oh, as a special player. bring that up again? I just ate. Well, then let's move on to another topic. And so the second question to predict the future comes from the original Rocky fan on Twitter. And he wants you to predict the year that the Rockies are going to make the playoffs again. Two years after Dick Modford quits my turn they will never make the playoffs again all right i'll give you a year 2057 how's that 2057 after, yes yes after they what found, year is this after the, they have it's 215 after well, then after you and they I find a way to see that to raise the walls and to negate the altitude and dick monfort leaves and <laughs> look the only time the they've walls. made the playoffs under Dick Montfort's stewardship is by fluke, okay? It's going to have to be a fluke. You want to raise the walls? I do. I want to move the fences in. No, that's crazy. Then you're going to No, it's not crazy. Have, we're playing at altitude. You're going to have more home runs. The scores are going to go through the roof. No, you're not. You, you, you raise the, the walls and you turn the home runs into doubles. That's not the point. The doubles and the triple. Less. You go out there every day. Don't you get it? That is the biggest field outside Yellowstone. You want to make the field smaller. No, you don't. So you don't have balls dropping in, doubles, triples, wall bangers. No, nope. You don't you want that. You have your outfielders you play so in. Wrong. You play the outfielders Solo in to, to cut you. off the doubles and triples. And then you raise, you the, and then you raise <laughs> the walls so the home runs don't go flying out. Oh, you were so... I want right, to have this debate another day. That, save that one. Bring that one back for next, next year. Because yeah, after no. they we're not talking any more Rockies. Well, we're going to switch gears. You go, you go to, to every game. We have to talk about them. <laughs> We're going to talk football. A question from Mizzou45. How many sacks will Shane Ray have this year? Hmm. Six. I'll say eight. Because he's only going to be put into pass rushing situations for the most part. First and year. Going to, and they're going to unleash him and they're going to say, go get the quarterback. And he's going to get him. First year, six would be a nice Derek number. Wolf had six his first year. Shane Ray's a better pass rusher. Derek Wolf played a lot more as a rookie. Shane's going to play on third downs. And he's going go to get the coverage. passer. Yeah, okay. Six. We'll see. It, it's probably more, but I'm saying six. He says eight. Oh, see how he covered his butt? 
It's probably more, but I'm going to say six. We haven't gotten very definitive answers either way. <laughs> I said eight. I said eight. I'm okay. sticking with eight. All right, Solid eight. All right. Uh, and then the next question comes from Bad Skyhulk. And he wants to know when the zombie apocalypse will begin. But what he really wants to know is will the Rockies make the playoffs before the zombie apocalypse? No, because the zombie apocalypse is on us now. It I've is? been watching Zombie Nation this year in the yeah. past day. I thought you were going to refer to millennials. People didn't think they were really zombies, but I think because of what's happened in the world with Ebola and all the other stuff, that zombies are going to be here because I'm watching all these zombie movies. I've gotten into it. Uh, when did, when It's already begun, Back, Bad Sky Hulk. It's if, already begun. If we don't get the world's nuclear situation under control, the zombie apocalypse could be among us far, far sooner than we ever thought. That's a very serious but, answer. Yes, but probably thank you not. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I still think Shane Ray will be here sex. in eight years. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably more than that, but it could be <laughs> but six it years. Might be less. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in the movies all the that time. That was a hard question. And now to one hard question where you will each have 90 seconds, and it's going to be strict debate rules. So either yeah, your microphone first. will be cut oh. off or I will cut you off. And the question involves this scenario. So it's midway through the fourth quarter. The Broncos are down by two touchdowns. Would you consider bringing in Brock Osweiler because of his arm strength, or would you stick with Peyton Manning thinking that he can overcome the two touchdown deficit? Ooh, that's so hard. I've that's got hard the, you, you can decide who wants can to start first, first yeah. but I'm gonna start timing as soon as the first one starts speaking. Uh, people <laughs> tend to forget that oh, Peyton sorry. Manning uh -huh. is the all-time leader when it comes to fourth quarter comebacks. All time. He blows everybody out of the water. Marino, Elway, Favre, more than anybody, with I believe the number is 41. Okay? Um, so I want Peyton Manning. He's also a master uh, at, at running the two-minute drill. He's a master in the red zone. I get the arm strength thing. But while one quarterback is throwing the ball 50 yards in one chunk, maybe, Peyton is dissecting you surgically, going downfield, 10 yards, 15 yards, 7 yards, 8 yards, in very quick time. So give me Peyton Manning. Oh, and by the way, how many fourth quarter comebacks does Brock Osweiler have in his career? How many times has he played? Zero. Zero. I want the guy who's got 41 under his belt already. Give me Peyton Manning. You're wrong, as usual. <laughs> uh, Brock Osweiler has shown us in, tra in, in the exhibition games he's got a strong arm. You have him in there. Who's he keep throwing to? Long passes. Bubba Caldwell. You put him in there. <laughs> Bubba sneaks behind there. I think we're at a point in Peyton's career that if it's eight minutes to go in a game and there are two touchdowns down, I would put Brock in and have him throw deep two or three times and see what happens. Why are you laughing? Because Peyton's going to be pissed at you if you pull him for Brock Osweiler at that point he's in the game. He's going to be pissed at me. I'm he not might the coach quit. The team. He might quit. You might not have oh, him the next week. Oh, he's going to quit in November. He can say to his kids. <laughs> if you pull him? He's going to say to his son, I quit, son. That's what you, I want you to be in your life is be a quitter. <laughs> you, uh, you have no idea what you're talking about. You put in Brock, let him throw it 60 yards because that's his strength is yeah. that he's able to throw it down. There. I'm going to give you the only score that counts. 41 to nothing. Manning, 41 how do you, comebacks, how do you, Osweiler, how do you start? How do you start to have your first one if you don't have a chance to be in there and get it? Man hadn't played in three years. He's got as many comebacks as a dead man, because a dead man doesn't get into games either. So, Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Very so very you're going Jonathan to the, the Rockies game, too. You're in your purple. No, I'm going to announce football, and actually the game I announced last oh, yeah. night was a 41 nothing result. Really? The Mullen Mustangs beat the Gateway Olympians. Wow. Was that your first football game? It was my Excuse second football game. I have a game tonight and a game tomorrow. How do you like that? I enjoy it a lot, yeah. Are you putting some personality in it? I like personality. I, I think so. Um, just trying to keep up with the plays, be very specific on the yardage. If it's a big play, get excited so that the fans can get excited. Did you ever listen to the Yankees' old announcer? He was the greatest. Bob Shepard. He was, Bob was the greatest in the world. Use the name twice. Go, here's the starting lineup at quarterback, Fred Smith. Smith. It's like the old boxing announcer. It's <laughs> like Johnny Addy, you know, like Rocky Marciano. 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 So when you get a big play, a touchdown, go. That touchdown was one of the McCaffrey sons. Fred McCaffrey. McCaffrey. <laughs>
I'll do that. That's my I'll tip think of for you. you. Fred must be the one I've never heard of. <laughs> Fred, Fred McMurray. <laughs> Maybe thanks. Fred McMurray is who I'm thinking of. <laughs> my three sons. Hey, Jonathan, thanks. Jonathan Thank Hawkins. Have a hey, good week. Uh,